Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Sagittarius for mid-September of 2019. Ooh, cards are just popping out. I'm getting the bottom and then the top. Um, so the monthlies are up, so you can check them out. They do have the energy healing to go along with them. So September 2019 are already up. You can check those out. Also, I have my mentorship available now. Um, this is a eight week process, um, or program that I take you through to really identify the issues from your past that are keeping you stuck and feeling not great or feeling depressed or causing anxiety within your life. Um, we talk about codependency and narcissism in there. We talk about everything that can relate to how you're feeling right now. And it's eight weeks. I hold your hand through the whole process. Um, you get video after video as well as live calls with me. Um, and we really just take you through the process of healing. Um, I went through this process myself. Um, and I, I'm really just teaching you what I went through to heal myself from a broken marriage to being happier than I've ever been before. Um, so if you're ready for something like that, um, it is ready for you. So it is down in the description box. You can learn more about it and uh, you can ask me any kind of questions that you have. All right. Also in the comments, I think it'll be. Let's see. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. So the overall energy for the rest of September for you. I feel as though you're getting stronger here. Um, you have the five of cups as your overall energy, but I'm more focused with these rest of these cards on the cups that you're holding rather than the ones that have spilt. So you might be releasing something from the past that has is no longer serving you. And I feel as though it's very crystal clear to you that this is not something good for you anymore. Okay. You have... The strength card here, you have the six of pentacles, which, who did I just do? Cancer. Cancer also had this as well. And then queen of swords in the exact same position. So you might be dealing with a cancer person. All right. So um, so the strength, the six of pentacles and the queen of swords is you're getting stronger. You've got the strength card. You've got this. You might be sharing your knowledge with someone or you might be receiving knowledge from somebody else. All right. This is all about sharing what you have. So with the strength card and the queen of swords here, I feel as though you're definitely, excuse me, expanding yourself, evolving yourself, growing really emotionally, mentally, um, really finding yourself here, gaining a sense of empowerment, gaining a sense of boundaries, establishing boundaries around yourself and not letting little things or drama get to you anymore. Being able to say, that's their issue, or, or where they say, um, not my monkeys, not my circus, right? To really just live your life drama-free. You're being able to do that now with the boundaries that you're setting around yourself. And that's sometimes really hard for people to do, is to eliminate the drama in your life. Because some of us, we grow up with the roller coaster rides, right? The ups and the downs. It might be our parents fighting. It might be the relationship we have with our parents and we're up and down and up and down. And we're so used to that. So when we get into relationships or we get into friendships or work relationships, they're up and down, up and down. We bitch about it, but at the same time, it's our comfort zone and we stay for much, much longer than we should. But you are learning these boundaries and you're eliminating that because you're gaining strength from within. And I feel as though you're gaining strength um, because you have someone there to support you, someone there to share their guidance, to share their knowledge with you. Or it could be the other way around with the with the energies. You also have here towards the end of the month, you've got the magician, you've got the nine of pentacles, and then you have the temperance card. So it's showing me I'm laughing just because like with the nine of pentacles with this energy and then the temperance, things might be a little too calm for you. <laughs> Like I just said about the roller coasters up and down, up and down, I feel like you're manifesting balance. You're manifesting a calm life. And in the very beginning of this, it might not feel good to you because it's like, well, 
nothing's exciting me right now, right? Some of that drama is exciting. It gets your adrenaline going. It gets your curiosity going. Um, you got to find ways to do that in in other ways, <laughs> whatever. You have to find different alternatives um, to excite you now. So maybe it's going climbing. Maybe it's going on nature walks. Maybe it's, you know, learning new activities. You got to find other ways to excite you and get you going instead of the drama that used to fill your life, okay? All right, over here you have workshops and seminars. It says, attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. So <laughs> mentorship, but <laughs> just great card. Can't pass it by. But yeah, so, you know, again, learning. I feel like you're already doing some of this or maybe you're supposed to be doing some of this. Maybe you are going to sign up for my mentorship, but definitely learning from somebody else um, or teaching. Again, you could be the teacher um, creating wor workshops for somebody or a seminar and learning, teaching what you have already learned that has allowed you to form these boundaries around yourself, okay? You also have the God box, and it says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So this is basically giving your worries away to somebody. You know, giving, I always do this with the angels or the archangels. You know, I call the archangels to come and take the worry away. I do this within energy healing intentionally, um, where we take all of that garbage that you're holding on to, all these worries, all these fears, and we just, we give it away to somebody else. And it feels so releasing and so good. So I love that they call it a God box. All right. The vampire card that you have here is Creator. So if you've been with me with my vampire cards, you know that I read from the book for these because I love the author, Lucy Cavendish. I say this 12 times, guys, so it's like <laughs> I'm like tired of hearing myself say it. All right, creator, catalyst, maker, mother, father. Let's see what this says. I'm not sure if I've ever read this before. If I did, I do not remember. All right, as vampiric ones, we can create a new life. We become makers. And so we are akin to the alchemists of, our his, of your history who tried again and again to make life. Now you call them scientists and they merge cells, transform bodies, change people's shapes, repair great injury, change destiny. Sometimes this is wonderful and sometimes it is most destructive. Of whom do we speak with this card? The destructive geniuses amongst you. They are vampiric ones to us. The ones who convince you that your beauty your beautiful, vulnerable, and unique, unique humanity is not enough. You are being sold a new religion, that of conformity. And each time one conforms, a soul is partially lost. For your soul is held within the nucleus of your cells, within each one of them. You are the creator of yourself. While you may not create vampires or birth a new life from the blood, you are still a creator, each day with your thoughts, actions, and decisions, you create anew the form your natural energies and soul will take. This is what we wish to say to you now. You can recreate yourself. You may choose to live in the light or in the dark. We vampires have a choice too. We must live in the dark, but we can still be agents of the light. A candle in the dark with our illumined illumined skin, and radiant blood shining from within. When you receive this card, you are being reminded of your responsibility as a creator. You have created an idea, perhaps even given birth to a new one of your kind. Just as this vampire alchemist has created the tiny deer, she will feed with a vial of transforming blood. You are the vessel through which new life and ideas are born. And life, the new ones, the small creatures you have about you are looking to you for so much guidance. As a creator, you are responsible for those you make. You must see through the time after they are born. You must nurture the young ones, be they ideas or projects or real living beings. You must also teach them and train them and let them know how to survive. You must be sure that they have those essential skills only you can teach them and teach them well. You must also love them despite their imperfections. You must find within you the great reservoir of love that even we vampires never lose, that human part of us that never leaves us and keeps us ensouled. 
When we create a new one, they struggle and are often confused and in pain. Tis the same for your new ventures and children. They will encounter the pain and struggle of newness. They will have terrible vulnerability. It is your mission, your honor, and your duty. Yes, that foolish, old-fashioned word to help them through this time. And with the doing of this, you will become again and more you will become again more than you are, were. The blessing of this card is you have much to teach, and if you must create, and you must, you are required by laws that bind together the entire natural and unnatural world to see through until you have shared what you can. It is time to create and, and to share with your creations your knowledge. It is time, in short, to be a maker, a parent, a mature being. The curse of this card is it's not easy to care for your offspring. They grow in ways we do not like. They have traits we did not predict they would have. They require time and effort, emotions, and even pain. They take a great deal, and they feed from us, just as this deer takes for the very blood from her vampiric creator. In the feeding, though, we bring real life, real life blood to all. Whether this is a metaphor for you and the sheer life blood you must give projects or the milk your baby takes from you, feed what you have given birth to. As a maker, you will find joy and pain in this. The way to work with this card is you have a creative spirit and the ability to bring to life a wonderful new project. This will bring you wonderful responsibilities and opportunities. Don't hesitate or delay. This is part of your sacred pur purpose. Wow. So some of you are definitely, like I said here, teachers or um, you know therapists or light workers. And then some of you might have like your own businesses with these creating businesses and stuff. You have something to share with this world is what they're saying. And that you have the obligation because it's like me. It's like I have an obligation because of what I do to share it with the world. That's why I men mentioned my mentorship because I know what we can do and transform together. And you have that obligation to get it out to the world so that people know that it's available to them. Because if you could change somebody's life or you could, if you could change somebody's life, but you don't put that out there and let people know, then who are you helping? Nobody. So you got to let people know. So a lot of you, if you're in businesses, you might be scared to promote yourself or promote your projects or promote your courses or whatever. Don't be because it's your responsibility and it's your, also your responsibility to see them through. Like, that's like me. Like, I need to know that you're good, you're okay, you're transformed, you're good. Like, you always have the ability to get in touch with me after any of my courses because you've got to see them through, just like your child, right? It's like, oh, well, you're 18 now, so never talk to you again. No, you see them through. Every lesson that you have taught them, you still help them through even after, no matter how old they are, right? So I hope that resonates with you guys. I love this card. I haven't either, I've never read it or I haven't read it in a long time because I don't remember it, but um, really, really powerful. So I hope it resonates. Give me a thumbs up in the video if it does. Uh, let me know if it does resonate with you in the comments below. And also if you're interested in that mentorship, it is in the description. We start on the 22nd of September, which is like less than a week away. So I have to kind of put this out there to let everybody know that it is available. So much love to you. You have so many good things coming. Be comfortable in the balance, all right? Find other exciting things that enlight your soul, light your soul up um, instead of the drama that you're used to, all right? Much love, much love, much love to you. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.